When you arrived on campus, you talked about how you thought you'd sort of learn something about yourself as you got used to your new team. You've got a year under your belt. What did you learn? Well, a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I've learned a lot uh, position-wise uh, in terms of being a quarterback from from the, the great coaches that we have, Coach Mo, Coach Jones. Uh, having Timmy around has been great. Now having Coach Mommy around is obviously great as well. Um, and then just personally, you know, I feel like I've learned how to fight through some stuff uh, just from my experiences in the past. And, uh, and you know, I think that helped us um, last year is just being able to fight through adversity and continue to stay positive when things weren't looking that great. We were uh, five and six and needed a win in the last game. And so <coughs> for us as, as a team, just to be able to fight through that and, and stay positive and, you know, sort of achieve some of the goals that we had set at the beginning of the year um, shows us what we can do. And going forward, I think it's something we can use. Now that you've had an offseason to look back, you come in last year, you had to learn a new offense, learn new coaches, new teammates. You go 6-6 six and six in the regular season, and then you had that the big win over Fresno in the bowl game. Now that you've had a chance to sit back and digest it a little bit, what were your overall thoughts about either your performance individually or the team's season last year? Well, it, like you said, it all happened really fast, learning the new offense, getting here uh, at the beginning of the summer, and we're playing a game three months later. Um, but I thought it was a really great experience, personally for me. Uh, I really enjoyed getting to be a part of this team last year. Uh, the guys welcoming me uh, you know, onto the team and being able to um, just be a part of it was great. Uh, obviously, you know, you'd love to be 12-0, and 0, um, or 13-0 and 0 really, but um, you know, for us, it was it was something we can we can build on. Like I said, uh, you know, we 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 did some stuff last year that we can use this year that will, that will build on us. We've got some great veteran leadership this year. Uh, a lot of our seniors um, contributed a lot last year, so they're going to be guys that we're all looking towards. And uh, we've had a great off season so far, and so I'm looking forward to the season. You started to run the ball more toward the end of the year, and I think you're the leading returning rusher on this team. When you started running the ball more, was that by design? Did you know all along that was going to become a bigger part of the game plan, or was that just sort of an evolution of the way things were working out? Uh, it, it was kind of an evolution, um, something that just kind of came about. Uh, obviously, it gives us an, another dimension. You know, I don't, I'm not fast by any means, but if I can trick some people uh, and steal a couple yards here and there, that does nothing but help us. And um, obviously, um, got to be smart about it and try not to take too many hits. But um, being able to being able to steal a couple yards here and there with some misdirection type stuff um, just gives us another dimension in our offense. Do you get to brag a little to your teammates about being the top returning rusher? I brag to Zach, but uh, just just because I felt like I caught him the past few games, you know, maybe I gained him a couple of those. So uh, no, you know, that's I honestly didn't even know that. Um, maybe I will now that, that you told me, <laughs> but. Uh, but you know, it's some, again, it's just something that's another dimension to us. Obviously, we've got a, a lot of new running backs this next year. Zach, the bulk of our rushing yards are gone, so we've got we've got some young guys that are going to have to step up, and they've done a great job uh, through the first through the first uh, you know few months of off season and the first couple of days of spring ball of uh, learning and, and, and stepping up. And you know, I feel like we're going to be comfortable with where we are in the, at the running back position. One of the new running backs, Traylon Shed, you played with in Austin for a year. So you know him better than anybody else here. What is he like as a runner? What does he bring to this offense? Well, as you can see with Traylon, he's a big, powerful back, but he's also he's also got got good speed for how big he is. He's uh, he's a long strider, um, but he you know he also knows how to get the tough yards. Traylon uh, <clears throat> was a always a really hard worker at Texas. And, you know, again, uh, for whatever reason, um, you know, adult, things didn't work out there for him, and, and he needed a fresh start. And you know, I think he's excited about his opportunity here, and he's been out here working hard since he's been here. Uh, in the weight room, out on the field, running, and now that football started, I think he gets to show us a little bit of what he can do. You mentioned Hal Mummy a minute ago as an addition to the coaching staff. I know he's very new; he just got here recently. But what are your initial impressions of Coach Mummy, and what do you think he'll add? Well, he's another great mind, first of all. Um, you know, with the with the with the coaching staff that we have already, uh, you got a lot of very very good offensive input um, coach Phillips coach mummy and coach Morrison coach Jones and and Timmy obviously given some perspective coaching wise uh, from being a player for me it's just another guy I can, an another guy I can learn from and obviously um, his offensive system has been very successful for a long time um, and so you know just obviously being able to do um, some of the stuff he brings to the table is going to do nothing to help us your leading receiver from a year ago Jeremy Johnson is back did you develop sort of a security blanket kind of relationship with him, and is he your your favorite target going into spring? Well, 
obviously Jeremy did a great job for us last year being in the slot. You know, he had a chance, a chance to catch some balls when defenses were focused on uh, on uh, uh, DJ. Um, but we've got, I feel like we've got four receivers that are going to do a great job for us. Four or five, really, and I feel like we have um, maybe some more depth than last year uh, as well. Uh, having some guys that got some good playing experience, caught a couple passes last year, uh, even caught some touchdowns. Derek Thompson, Keenan Holman, uh, Arius Holman, Darius Joseph, those are guys that are going to, that, that all played some last year, have some experience, and they're going to step up and take a more active role in the offense, I feel like. Last year, you're the new guy on the team. So everybody, all of your teammates were new. This year, you're going to have at least three new offensive linemen in front of you uh, with the graduation of Jordan Free, Blake McJunkin, and Brian Collins. How hard is that for you as a quarterback to have changing parts in front of you? Well, <clears throat> it, you know, it's definitely difficult. You'd love to have all five back, no doubt. Um, an offensive line is all about cohesiveness and, and uh, working working together as a unit. Um, but the uh, the veterans on the on the on the line, Ben Gottschalk, Taylor Lasecki, have taken those young guys under their wing, and they've really been doing so since last year. And so we feel like. Um, as much as it is starting fresh, um, it's not because they've been they've been here working. They've been they've been working together. They've been working with those guys. They've been working with Taylor and they've been working with Ben Gottschalk uh, for almost a whole year now. And so we see um, them develop a little faster as out here um, than you might if they were just young guys coming in starting new. You mentioned Zach Line is gone. Which is harder for you to adjust to? New running back or new lineman in front of you? Um, Definitely, uh, oh, that's a tough one. Uh, you know, it's it's an adjustment either way. Um, obviously, losing Zach is, is tough. Um, being one of the one of the best running backs in the nation, um, a guy that's definitely going to be playing on Sundays. It's tough to lose a guy like that. That's going to get you four yards a pop every time. Um, but losing three veteran offensive linemen is also tough. I have faith um, in in uh, in each each replacement though. Uh, our young running backs, like I said, have been doing a great job for us all offseason. Um, I feel very comfortable with where we're at there. And with the offensive linemen uh, being able being taken under uh, Taylor Lasecki and, and uh, Ben Gottschalk's wing, I feel very comfortable where we're at there with, with some veteran leadership. Um, I think the young guys are coming along very well.